Okay, Jupiter, we are live on TikTok right now. I get that. I understand. I get it. Do you want to say hi to them? I mean, they can't see my face, but I'll. But I'm saying hi anyway. Okay. Um. Yeah. So they're all saying hi, Jupiter. Hi, Jupiter. Yeah. Someone said that he's competing with you for me. Listen here, you little shit. Linda's mine. He belongs to me. You cannot have her. She belongs to me. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you heard that here first, guys. And we're going to address the rumors that... Um, Jupiter is cheating on me. You guys are all letting me know. Oh, who's Abby? Who's Abby? Who's Abby? Abby is just one of my many girlfriends who stuck by my side after everyone betrayed me. She's the only one who stuck by me. Yeah, but you you have to know that I have to be your one and only. You can't have these other side hoes. I know. I know. I know. So what are you going to do about it? As I said, the competition is on. You have to reach me first before I make any decisions, remember? Oh yeah, I do. He said that I have to I have to race his others his other girlfriends to Idaho. And whoever is the first one to Idaho is gonna be his um wife. Right? Heard it here first, folks. But we're, so st we're still engaged, on. right? Yeah. The heat is on, though, everyone. The oh. heat's on. And the heat's going to be even hotter when we're together. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, erase anybody's jazz about me being a pedophile. I'm not doing anything to hurt anyone. Those are all just rumors floating around about me. You all need to let it go. You all need to get over it. It happened. Whatever happened, happened. Drop it. That's all. My final fucking warning. I can drop it. Talking to everyone on TikTok as well. Um, drop it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't want to hear anyone calling me a pedophile ever again. Understand me? Yes, Daddy. Anyways, um, yeah, let's move on from that. Um, someone said they love when alphas say drop it. Exactly. And the pack name is the Blue Destiny Pack. So, all newcomers are welcome. Do you name it after Just Destiny's Child? It's known as the Blue Destiny Pack. Newcomers are always welcome to join up in the ranks. So, like, are you, like, the Beyonce or the Kelly or the other? I prefer not have my face shown on camera because of all the rumors about me and whatnot. It's for my own safety, you know? I get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you do you eat raw meat since you're a werewolf? Okay. I like to eat meat that's been cooked, not raw. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I got mine. So you draw the line at raw meat? Yep, I draw the line. But you... You, you, never mind. Let's not go there. They're just asking me questions. They're so crazy. People are crazy thinking that this where we'll be so about me. Please. I don't eat raw meat. I prefer to cook the meat and then eat it. God, how stupid are you people? Someone said draws the line with raw meat but has kids with a stuffed animal. Piece of blood sauce, nothing more. If my blood source, you need to drop it and leave it alone. Yeah, you said you wanted to see me in the nude. Yeah, that too. There was this one guy the other day that, that I met on the street, and he was he had a big trash bag and half a cigarette in his mouth, and he was just yelling gibberish, and he, he said, if I put two fingers up your arse and you cough, that means you have a cold. Yeah, um... It's a pressure point, Holtz. That's a pressure point. Underneath your armpits, there's a pressure point there. You put your fingers on that pressure point and hold it long enough, you will pass set out. It's a, basically a defense mechanism. Oh. 
Um, will Golden um, Will Golden Corral be catering our wedding? Maybe that's up to you. That's up to you who you want to cater. Someone said that Abby's sucking on you right now. Please, you never heard of the doctor, Doctor Who? No, I don't go to the pork and doctor. You know what I mean by pizza? Oh, the mermussy. Yes. Exactly. The mermussy. That's, that's what I was referring to. Yeah. You didn't get it until after I face palmed. Yeah. Exactly. <gasps> Someone said Abby's eating you out. Nope. Nope. Just a straight up. That's a nope. Do you like Barry? I know I've introduced him before to you. Yeah, I, I know. I can I can teach you how to bring him up to life using a blood ritual, but that will inquire you being in physical proximity. Okay, wait, but, so uh, can you, like, can you, one of like... The, uh, but one of the times, one of the rituals you can use is draw a circle, like a magic spell circle, and then put him in the middle of that circle, and then use whatever incantation you'd like to bring him to life, and then boom. Just like that. Can you walk me through it right now? I mean, you have to have a circle drawn on the ground, whether it be with marker or something else, or you can put him on a large piece of paper with a circle drawn on it and then light some camera candles around the points of the circle around certain points then state whatever incantation you would like to use to bring him to life and then boom that's how you do it oh sure okay i'm doing it right now yeah you just have to draw you just have to draw a magic spell seal circle try looking up a spell circle first before you do anything well i want it right from the source yeah, I know, but uh, try looking up some, because drawing a magic seal circle is not like drawing an actual circle. Yeah, you have to have, why don't you look up magical spell seals first? I can't, I'm using all my devices right now. Hold on, let me uh, see if I Here, can. okay, I'm going to put Barry inside the circle. Hold on, let me see. You know those circles that are, those demonic circles I have on my TikTok? Sure. You know, those demonic circles? Try drawing one of those and then placing them in. Oh, there. with the star in the middle. Yeah. That's known as a pentagram, though. But okay. it works best to use a pentagram rather than. Okay, I did it. You just have to. All right. Now put your B in the middle. Okay. And then use whatever incantation you'd like. And then by the next 15 minutes or so, you will see him twitch a bit, meaning he's alive, but he's kind of like an inanimate object, but you can bring him to life. Just use an incantation. That's what I had to do bringing, but I used my blood instead of actual, an actual spell spell. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it right now. My blood. Um, yeah, just. Barry the Berry, I need you to come to life. I need you to come into this coochie and bring me less strife. And I'm going to get married. Jupiter's going to make me his wife. So come on, Barry. Let's get to it. Strike a pose. There's nothing to it. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah. You should see a bit of movement within, the, within Barry by the next... By the time the moon comes up. Oh my gosh, he's twitching. Yeah. That's a spell circle. That's what spell circles do. They're used to amplify magic. As well as amplify your casting. It's an amplification. Oh my god. It amplifies. That's so yeah, cool. It's, an amplifier. it's like he's twerking. Yeah, I know, right? It's... It's basically what I did, you know? But uh, everyone who's dating on me here in the here on TikTok, I want you to know one thing. I'm not going to roll over and play dead for a bunch of sorry sacks as yourselves. Oh. I will not roll over and play dead. Here, Barry, wants to, stand up Barry wants to talk to you for a second. I'm communicating with him telepathically. He actually refers to you as his mama because you're basically his mom. Oh. He's, you're his mommy. You're his mom. You're the one who actually cared for him and raised him. 
So he sees you as his mom, not his master. And I understand that. And I told him, go ahead, refer to you as his mom, because you're the one who raised him. Oh. You're the one who brought him to life and raised him. So now you're his mom. But, but I thought we were, I thought we were like in a relationship. Yeah, he refers to you as his mother. Because you're the one who actually raised him and taught him everything he knows. So I can't stuff you're him. In my, I can't stuff him in my holes any longer. I mean, you can if you'd like, but I would not recommend it because that someone kind of had a weird. I just got a text from somebody. What they say? They're like, Trooper, you need to get off live with Linda. She is the reason people are attacking. You got people attacking you. No. She's not a good person and she's using you for content. Oh my gosh, that is so rude. Yeah, I am just I am messages. one of the best people. That better not be Fork and Abby. Fuck you. Yeah, I I'm leaving a message saying, fuck you. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Don't yeah. Guys. Fuck you. Abby, if you're if you're the one that texted that, you can suck my toes. And not the good ones, the bad ones. <laughs> I know, I know that's that's some I'm God damn it. you have me laughing. I'm literally rolling on the floor. Yeah. Laughing. Well I'm you have me on, on the floor. You have me on all fours right now. I'm ready to howl. Yeah. It just takes a few it takes a few minutes to try and, you know. I can if you ever do manage to come to Idaho and actually wind up living with me. I can teach you how to use magic, but I I would really recommend using light magic because I use what is known as dark magic or blood magic to some people. Yeah. I use blood magic. Yeah, I have my I own magic wand. Blood. Yeah, I have a I use blood when my incantation. Can I use like my period blood? I mean you can if you like. Ready? We're going to do a little um, spell on Barry real quick. I met your fork and mother, Birch. I just, I just, I thought we were, I thought we were closer than that. What's he saying? He sees you as his mother and or sister. Sister? Perspective. I'm not. Like in it's stepsister, like the hot stepsister. Yeah. He calls you his hot stepsis. He's like, I don't really see her as my mom, more like a hot stepsis. Okay, so I should go, like, get stuck in the dryer right now? Yeah, something like that. So, how how would I tell Barry, um, should I, sh should I get in the, in the dryer? Uh, if you do get stuck. It usually depends on how big your dryer hole is and whatnot, because some people have gotten stuck in them. I've even, one time one of my actual sisters got stuck in the dryer and I couldn't help but laugh. I was legit dying. I could not, I was dying. I was done. I was like, nope. And what'd you do? Did you help her out? Uh, yeah, I pulled her out and she's like, thanks for not fucking me. And I turn and I look at her and I go, you're my sister. I wouldn't dare do that to my own sibling. Are you fucking nuts? I literally asked her, are you fucking nuts? Like, I literally, she, when she asked me that, I turned and looked at her. Are you fucking nuts? Are you fucking mad? That's all I managed to say was, are you mad? Well, your sister apparently wanted it, so. Wait, what if Barry gets me pregnant? He probably won't be able to. Because... Why? Because, let me explain. Okay. Please. Just be quiet for a minute. Oh. He probably won't attempt it because he knows he told me he won't attempt it to get you pregnant because he's he doesn't want to pay child support ever. No guy ever wants that. No guy ever wants to pay child support. Trust me. I'm just being totally honest with you guys. Nobody likes paying child support. Well, what about you and all your, like, kids? That's because me and Star are still together. That would mean, that would imply if her and I split up. Well, me and Barry are going to still be together if I'm pregnant. I mean, 
He doesn't want to because he says that it, he sees it as kind of a crime to do it to you. He sees it as a crime and he doesn't want to, oh. he doesn't want to feel that guilty conscience. What? It is because every guy has a guilty conscience. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say that out loud. That's even too far for Linda. Exactly. Yeah. And to people who are hating on me on TikTok right now, fuck off, all of you. No one's I hating on you on, on my side. They're all, they saying, love I'm you. I'm just saying while you're live right now, if there's any haters in the chat right now, you best leave this chat immediately or I swear to God, I will find you and end your career. Jupiter, I think you telepathically got me pregnant just now. It's known as a telepathic bomb. It feeds all my information that I know of magic to you. I think you just got me it pregnant. Feeds all of my, my, it's, I'm using mana to basically, if you're feeling that weird, like up in your system and your blood and everything, that's me channeling mana to you. I'm feeling. That circle you draw, that circle you drew, I used it to channel my powers to you. So that way you have the powers. And I also transferred a bit of my DNA through you to basically give you the same kind of powers I have. So I You have the same powers. Just, uh, you won't, you won't gain them until the next full moon, though. You won't fully gain a grasp of them until the next full moon. How long will it, it, it let me... How long do I have to carry this baby? It's not a baby. It's more energy. It's an energy bomb. I sent you an energy system. Oh, so you're... I transferred my energy to you. So that's your energy growing stronger within you. So you're, you're it trying to, from the stomach where the main chakra energy is. You're so trying to bomb me. Are you trying to like, uh, like do a 9-11 I'm giving you me? my powers. It, your stomach is where most of your chakra is. It's where your chakra starts. It's from your stomach and it goes all the way to different points around your body. Oh, so like I'm feeling and something in my stomach, little by little. in my stomach, in my coochie, in my. Yeah, it's just. It's just the power spreading throughout your body slowly. You won't gain your power till the, till the moon rises anyway. Okay. When does the moon rise? Probably tonight. I don't have to... But if the... It, it doesn't matter. It, you don't gain a full grasp until actually nighttime because powers like mine are only active at night. Now that it's afternoon, the powers are growing stronger because I sent them to you in the afternoon as well as they'll grow stronger at night. And if you notice your canines in your mouth growing longer at night, <gasps> that is, those are your fangs extending, letting you know that you're, that you have a full grasp. Oh my gosh. Mind. This is what I'm saying. You, you can actually charter a Greyhound up to Idaho. After you're done in San Diego, you can charter a bus to Idaho and come and see me and come and visit my home, my home state where I grew up. Someone said he's and trying he to get that up. Linda Bendussi. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am. So what if, so what? It's none of your guys' damn business. Should we live stream it for them? Business. Should we live stream it for them? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you should, you should totally come to Idaho. Just saying. And uh, guys, maybe I am trying to get, a, get her pussy out. <gasps> maybe I am. Maybe I am trying to get that pussy. So what? That's none of your damn business. <laughs> you TikTok people are so funny to hang out with. Sorry, That's I just say. I just fell out of my chair. Yeah, you fell out of your chair in surprise. I could see the look of surprise on your face. You're like, holy shit, did you just fucking say that? Yeah, like, let's... You gave me that look, didn't you just fucking say that? Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the look on your face as soon as you turned and looked at the camera, you're like, "Did you just fucking say that?" I know. That was the funniest look I have ever seen anyone give me. Yeah. I cracked a bet. I uh, asked my roommate, and I said, "Would Dallas like to watch me play Fable?" My roommate just slowly turns his head towards me, like, "Dude, what the fuck did you just ask?" Yeah, he did that slow fucking head turn and looked at me. <laughs> Wait. I fucking died. I was done. I was like, nope. Um, he got me. Um, um, sorry, I'm getting a little hot and bothered right now. Yeah. Wait, are you, the, yeah. are, are you a top or a bottom? I do not know. I 
do not wish to answer that question. Well, I want to know because it's it, it's I want to know. I know, but I will answer that question in private, okay. not on live. I think that you're more like um probably a bottom. But you're not really, you said you're not really big down there, so. Yeah, that's why. Oh. That's why I refused to answer the question. I didn't want to seem like a jerk and answer a question like that. Is it, I seemed like a freaking jerk, and I didn't want everyone on TikTok calling me a jerk about it. Yeah. I just chose not to answer because I wanted to save my own sanity. Guys, make sure you because hit that follow button. I was literally just sitting here, and when you asked me that question, I was like, my ex roommate Billy once asked me that question, and I had to. Oh, just, was Billy know, trying to hit it? Was Billy trying to hit it? One time he actually did. He was dropping hints, and I just said, "Nope, I'm not in. I don't swing that way, bro. Sorry, but I don't swing that way. I'm what? a straight dude. I don't swing no way. I don't swing way towards gays. I don't do that. I'm not a gay guy. I prefer. I am. I'm straight, and I'm a he him." Okay, yes. Those are my pronouns. Love that. I love you being politically correct. Um, yeah, I'm the same way as you. Sometimes I feel like a little lesbian, but um, when I'm talking to you, yeah. like if that all fades away. Yeah. I, uh, I live with my roommate, Christopher. He's on vacation right now, as I said. He's a really good guy to hang out with. Um, Is he the one that was in jail? He's the one who was downstairs cussing when you last talked to me on live. He was one downstairs cussing. Okay. He was cussing up a storm and I was, he was yelling at his video game system the whole time. And I kept yelling. Have you ever slept together in the same bed with him? Oh, hell no. Uh, They're asking me. They're asking me. Oh, hell no. I don't, what did I just fucking say, everyone? They're asking me, don't shoot the messenger. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You're all asking shit when you all know. Um, this fucking oh my gosh. Someone said, um, uh, um, someone said that they like when you degrade them. This ain't no masochistic bullshit. Are you kidding me? You people are masochistic. Have you ever, yeah. like, have you ever snuggled? It didn't have to go in the hole. You can just snuggle. I mean, I don't do BDSM or some shit like that, but I do, I do mind cuddling once in a while. Sometimes when I'm in a foul mood, Sheer Tara will literally come over onto the bed and literally cuddle me as I sleep, trying to calm my heart down. Does she try to hump you too? She does hug me from time to time, yes. But... You know, what I said was I used my claw to transfer DNA in yeah. there. Wait, so like, like that. you have kids with, um, you have kids with your, um, Shiratora. With Shiratora. Yeah. So, but like, how, and how I do, have, how I do the kids it. come in existence? Do they come out of her cooch? Well, Does they, someone bring her they, from the store? embryo is born and then it's matured using magic. When they're ready to come out, I give them each a body to basically inhabit. Oh. So to speak. That makes sense. They basically, that embryo becomes that, and it, that object and becomes... Where did you get the cement. the objects from? Different stores, I guess. Oh. You go to different stores and shit. You know, I, I, I'm just saying this out of kindness towards everybody and towards everyone who wants to know how or where I find their bodies. It's just at random stores. I'll even pick out a random-ass body just for the kid to have if they're... If I feel like they're going to be more comfortable using that kind of body. Okay, they keep on asking about Abby. Uh, stop asking about it. I'm not going to say anything about her. Yeah, guys. Because... If you want to know, Abby is the person that he is engaged to, but he said that whoever is the first person to Idaho, he will marry. Yeah, exactly. So I have some competition, even though it's not really that much. So time going out of the cheap wing box. But yeah, I'm playing Skyrim right now, Elder Scrolls 5. Oh. Or Tez 5. Okay. Um I put on an I put on a, a slow time ring again. I keep grabbing the slow time ring for some reason. Yeah. Uh, I can move faster. 
Yeah. Why did you post her but not me on your TikTok? Remember, you were live that day when I did. You were live that day. Oh, you you were jealous? Live. I said it over live, and you all know that. You should all stop harassing the poor woman. Oh, maybe you should post a TikTok with me in it. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, but I need at least some photos or something, you know? Oh, I'll Post send I'll send you some stuff. photos. Better be appropriate. Because oh. I know that TikTok will kick me if I try to post anything, you know. You know what TikTok is going to do if you yeah. send me any, like... Does it cream or ooze? Is that for me or for you? I don't know. It's best to ignore that question. Okay. Um, because people like that are just discussing and looking for a reason. Wait, to... you said that Abby's your one and only. Yeah, well, I say that a lot about certain people, but to be honest, the first one who actually makes it to my house and actually makes it to see me is actually the one I'm going to give the ring to. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. I actually did that as a motivation for all the all the girls who wanted me to propose to them, I made it a kind of a challenge, you know? I prefer to give people challenges. It gives me something, it gives me a bit of amusement as well as a bit of, you know, it gives me a bit of a scope of my wide selection of people, you know? Oh my gosh, yeah, I get it. It gives me a better perspective and see how people's skills are, you know? Yeah. Not a lot of people know this about me, but I prefer competition because it makes things interesting. Yeah, you know, I I had a competition once. I me and my uncle, you know, my uncle, right? Um, we we yeah. put our we put ourselves in potato sacks and we would hop throughout the backyard. And um, I would always beat him because he had his leg amputated. Yeah, and listen, I'm sorry about what your uncle did to you. It's okay. I would always when when I would when I would race with him, I would literally push him down and say, "Get down, you disabled birch." That's when they cut off your leg so I can beat you in hot potato race. Yeah, but I would have liked to meet the man so I could tell him that he did a good job taking you in, though. He did do a favor and made sure that, you know, he he gave you the best life he could. Yeah, I still have his leg that they cut off. Yeah, but they he raised you the best he could. He did what he could. Yeah. And I'd like to say that he may have done bad things, but he really did care about you. Thank you. Sure, he did some bad things. He really did care, though. He what did, wait, what did he do that was bad? You know all the things you said he did that was bad? Like what? I forgot. Um, where you said he locked you in a cage or whatever? Oh, yeah. I yeah, that. he did that because he loved you, and he didn't want to lose you. Yeah. You were the only family he had. Yeah. He just didn't want to lose you. He was scared of losing you. I sometimes sit here and wonder. He did what he did. Yeah, sometimes I sit here and wonder if he faked his own death. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. It just depends on him. So whose ashes, whose forking ashes do I have in my urn? I know, but let me let me explain. He might have done it to protect you, as a way to say he was sorry. Yeah. He might have faked his own death as a way to say that you're better off without it. That it's better that you don't rem- that you forget about him and move on with your life. Wait, it's better that you forget. They're saying a bunch of things. Why do you have Discord CP? Oh uh, hell no! Oh. Y'all need to leave that alone. Oh hell no! I'm done. I'm done with that shit. Drop it, everybody. I mean it. I am not answering any more questions pertaining to that. Yeah. Understand me? Yes. All of you need to let it be and let it die. What does what does Barry think about you? What does Barry think about you? I can tell you both think I'm in in all this. No, but like what does he think about you in general? Um, I'd rather not explain because he's he calls me a few <clears throat> questionable names. Wait, why? I guess he's just he he actually got it in his head that I'm guilty. Oh, are you? 
No, hell no. I'm so, not fucking guilty of nothing. Th- so they the said only that- thing I'm guilty of is being a pawn. So do you have those images on your on your Discord that they sent? I I left those chat rooms a long time ago, and people oh. need to leave it alone. So once they sent you the images, you left, right? Yep, I left that. I left that behind. I left it behind, and I'm leaving it there. Do not bring it up again, people. Last warning. This is your last warning, everybody. Drop it and leave it alone. And if you are going to ask questions like that, you need to leave this live session. I don't care. You all need to stop. It's very annoying and it's pissing me off. <gasps> oh, another thing. This is off topic, but um, another um, necrophiliac. Mm-hmm. That means you fuck a corpse, but go on. Do you ever have that? Do you ever do that? No, I don't fuck corpses. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. (laughs) I don't know why they're asking me that. That is disgusting. Well, I mean, I would imagine questions like that. Well, I mean, maybe if maybe maybe if they're a zombie. Maybe they were a zombie, but that's basically if, and that's a pretty big if. Wait, can you twerk? I can twerk. Can you? I can't. I don't dare do it. Um. Because I find it degrading to me, you know? It degrades who I am. It degrades Um. the person I've become. And a person who's trying his hardest not to get his ass kicked, you know? So you don't, you don't, you don't shake your arse? Nope. What if I didn't? I mean, I've seen you do it plenty of times on camera, so. And did you like it? Maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was my guess when I said maybe. That's okay. That's okay. Well, I think that's been enough today on this TikTok. I mean, I can answer any more questions. If they have many more questions to ask, I can answer any more if they want me to. I know, I but I just don't want TikTok to get rid of me because some of the things that you're saying okay. are a little, are little, a little, a lot. I know, and I'll shut up now about it. Okay. Um, so make sure you guys, guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a Discord. I have a cameo. You can request cameos. Um, anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peace out, and I'm going to talk to you all later, okay? Bye, guys. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>